We're going to look at some general information that you can find on all USGS topographic maps in this video. Topographic maps that are produced by the United States Geological Survey follow a similar format. In addition to using standard colors, each map contains information on map location, date of mapping, scale, etc. For example, if you are looking for the name of a topographic map, you can find it in the upper right corner of all USGS maps. The name of this topographic map is the Southwest Pueblo Quadrangle. If you would like to know the general area that the map is covering, you look in the lower right portion of the map and you will see an outline of the shape of the state and then a dot representing the location from where um, that seven and a half minute quadrangle is taken. Also on the bottom part of the map, kind of lower left center, you can find a direction arrow uh, showing you magnetic north and true north. The magnetic north is, uh, or is given by a pointed arrow. The true north is given by a star. And a star makes sense because true north is what our pole points to, or the Earth's North Pole points to Polaris, the North Star. And so they indicate the true north, the spin pole north, with a star. The magnetic north is marked with MN and an arrow. And it's typically at some number of degrees away from the true north because the North Star, or the, the North Pole, that is the spin pole, and the magnetic pole are close together, but they are not exactly the same. Uh, the magnetic north pole is constantly moving a little bit, not a lot, a little bit. Um, the red dots show previous locations of the magnetic north pole. The current magnetic north pole is right here. And the spin pole, the geographic north pole, is right here in blue. Since the Earth's geographic north pole is different than its magnetic pole, there are only a few areas where the two things align, and the magnetic north is always indicated on the topographic map. And as I mentioned, the magnetic north could be to the, the left of the, the geographic north, it could be to the right of the geographic north, it could be either way. The magnetic north arrow shows both the direction that the magnetic north is from true north. In the example, magnetic north is east of true north. And it also shows a number of degrees. Um, there's 360 degrees in a circle. Um, and it shows the number of degrees that magnetic north varies from the true north. So in this example, it is 12 degrees from true north. That's the angle measurement that we're looking at, 12 degrees away from true north. And it's important to note that measurement was taken in 1974 because the magnetic, um, the magnetic pole does change a little bit over time. And so if your map is very old, that may no longer be very accurate. Uh, this little graphic kind of shows us if we had a compass, right? the blue is pointing the direction a longitude line would run. Right? A longitude line runs to the spin pole, the geographic north. But the red points to the magnetic north, the direction that a compass would actually point. And so if you get way out to, say, like Maine, you're almost, um, you know, a significant number of degrees off from the true north pole if you're using a magnet or a, a compass to, to uh, navigate. In Wisconsin we're pretty lucky because the difference between the magnetic and true north is very small where we are. On newer topographic maps um, there's also a grid north. This has to do with the UTM coordinates uh, so we're not going to worry about those. Observe the different colors used for the various symbols on USGS topographic maps. Um, the principal colors are red for major roads and highways and some boundaries. 
black for buildings, secondary roads, some boundaries and artificial features. Salmon color for urban areas or cities. Green for vegetation, whether it's forests or um, grasslands. Blue for rivers, streams, lakes, all water features are shown in blue. The brown are mostly used for contour lines that show elevation. We'll be talking more about that soon. Purple are used for revised um, features on the map, things that were put on the map after the map was originally produced. So if a new building is built or a new um, urban area is developed, will be in purple. The United States Geological uh, Survey topographic maps also use a variety of symbols to illustrate features. And some of the standard features include uh, roads and trails. Right? So roads and trails are either shown in red or black. If they're more solid, they're more uh, developed in primary. If they're dashed lines, it means that they're unimproved or under construction. There are specific symbols for railroads, bridges, and dams, whether the railroads are wide or narrow, um, draw bridges, dams that have locks for boats to pass through, dams that have roads crossing them, all have specific symbols that are used across all USGS topographic maps. Buildings, transmission lines, and mines all have specific symbols. If buildings are colored in, that means people live in them. If they are just an outline, that means they're like a barn. Um, churches and schools have specific flags or crosses on top of them. Uh, power transmission lines, oil and gas lines all have specific symbols as shown here. Um, quarries look like two crossed pickaxes. Elevations are just given with a number uh, and sometimes a symbol, a, a triangle with a dot in the middle or an X. Um, if it's some kind of a benchmark, a place where they actually went out and measured in the field exactly how high that specific point was, you will see those on topographic maps. Boundaries all have specific types of sim symbols, whether they're national boundaries, state boundaries, county boundaries, um, section lines, uh, the township and range are typically in red, and the other boundaries, whether they're state or county, or parks or national, tend to be in black. We'll be talking about this uh, more very soon in an upcoming video, but contour lines and surfaces are typically shown in brown. Uh, an extra, lar extra dark line is an index contour, a regular line is a intermediate contour, those are connecting points of equal elevation. Sometimes brown is also used to show things like tailings or sand or um, irregular surfaces or gravel. Water features are all in blue. Uh, if it's a stream that's always around, perennial, it'll be shaded in. If it's a dashed line, it's intermittent, meaning sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Um, some USGS maps show um, culverts, springs, wells, glaciers, uh, rapids, waterfalls, uh, coral reefs, um, shipwrecks. Uh, all of these things are shown on various topographic maps. And types of vegetation are indi indicated as well. Uh, woods or forests are just green. Um, if it's marshy, they start to draw what looks like little cattails. Uh, if it's more land than water, it'll be shaded green. If it's more water than land, it'll be shaded blue. This is the symbol for mangrove swamps. The real regular, um, like uniform gridded stuff shows you where orchards and vineyards are. Uh, and then the salmon is urbanization. So those are some of the basic symbols that are used on topographic maps. Um, USGS topographic maps also include the names of places, hills, valleys, cities, um, lakes and rivers. Many, many features are named uh, and those names are listed on topographic maps.